In this problem, we're going to find the cotangent of 5 pi over 6. So the way we'll do it is we'll start by uh, writing cotangent in terms of sine and cosine. So cotangent of 5 pi over 6 is the cosine of 5 pi over 6 divided by the sine of 5 pi over 6. So it's cosine uh, over sine. And so all we have to do now is work these out, and then we'll have uh, the answer. So when you see stuff like this, you should be thinking of the cosine and the sine of pi over 6. So you want to think about what those are. Okay, so the cosine of pi over 6 and the sine of pi over 6. So from memory, again, I just, this is just from memory, this is the square root of 3 over 2. And this is one half. So I feel like this might be the hard part for a lot of people. And that's okay. It's normal. This takes a lot of work. So now what we need to do is figure out whether our signs are correct. The reason is this. Uh, the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle, pi over 6 is the reference angle for 5 pi over 6, are the same except for possibly the sign. So we need to figure out which one of these is positive and which one is negative for 5 pi over 6. To do that, we will do a rough sketch of the unit circle. So this is 0, this is pi over 2, and this is pi. And we're going to think of pi as a number over 6 because we're looking for 5 pi over 6. So it's 6 pi over 6. That would mean that 5 pi over 6 is right here because it's pi over 6 less. So this is 5 pi over 6. And so on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate, and the x-coordinate here is negative because we're in quadrant 2. So the cosine of 5 pi over 6 will be negative square root of 3 over 2. Sine is positive because it's the y-coordinate, so the sine of 5 pi over 6 will be positive 1 half, right? Really, really, really tricky. It's a lot of information in a simple looking problem. So we have this and we're dividing it by one half. When you divide by one half, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's times two over one. These cancel and this is equal to negative root three. I went kind of fast, so maybe rewind it if you need to, but and watch it again. Um, it takes practice. I just wanna say that doing problems like this takes a lot of practice. It takes a long time to get good at this, so just keep doing them. Good luck.